Farm Folks 2005 BMW V4 E85 working on the rear driver side rotor and uh, brake shoes first thing first I have lifted up the vehicle on the stand right here and I have used the wheel chocks safety first now I'm going to remove the wheel using the 17 inch impact wrench adapter Five bolts are removed. Now I'll go ahead and remove the wheel. All right. Next up, we have to remove this caliper bracket and then we'll remove the rotor. In order to remove the caliper bracket, we have two 16 mm bolts over here, one over here and one over here. So we're going to remove them using a wrench. You don't have much space to play over here, so I'm going to use a hammer. I have removed the caliper bracket I'm going to hang it right over here using the zip ties using the zip tie I have hung the caliper bracket right over here behind the rotor and now the next step is going to be removing this rotor for that we're going to remove this Hex head screw over here. So I'm gonna need a six millimeter screwdriver bit to remove this screw. Okay, so there should be a screw in the back which I cannot see to loosen the brake shoes and then this comes off easily. But the first thing that I did was I lowered down the handbrake and then put it in the first gear so the car doesn't move 
and then I use the rubber hammer made like this over here they should come off came off like this so this is the screw which is used to loosen or tighten your brake shoes and uh, it wasn't accessible from the back that's why you use this hammer to remove the rotor next up i'm going to give it a cleanup using a brush pretty badly rusted and dusted Air spray. After the cleanup, next step will be to turn this screw using a flathead screwdriver so that there is less tension on these springs. After that, we're going to remove this spring from here and then the, these two, one and two, second one right down there. These two screws with the spring shall come off and the brake rotor be off after that but first we have to turn this let's hold the machine We have to remove this screw and the screw down here. Uh, this one. In order to remove these two screws, I'm using a 4.5 mm Allen key. First one is out. Oh dear. I'm going to do work on the second one now, right over here. Same step. Push it in. Turn it and clockwise. Comes up. One and two. 
next I'm going to use a long nose pliers to remove this string over here. Brake shoes are out. This is the bracket that holds your brake wire, the handbrake wire, right here your handbrake wire this bracket holds your handbrake wire I'm going to clean this up put some grease on them and uh, put the new brake shoes in okay so I've cleaned up the springs Also using the brush and the brake cleaner. These are the new brake shoes that I'm going to install and this is how these will go. This screw will come right over here and over here this bracket will come. Okay. How this bracket will go is like that. I did it but this is the hook to catch that handbrake wire like this go and you got to push it upwards that's how it catches that handbrake wire goes over here like that Okay, next step, how I do it is, I took the top part of the brake shoe and put the screw back in. In order to put the screw back in, you will again need the 4.5mm Allen key. How this screw goes is, here you just push it in. and then just turn it that's how it locks so that's how I did it using the allen key over here before you do it make sure that hook is still catching your handbrake wire that's very important this hook should not lose that wire After that, I just use the spring to hang the other part of the brake shoe over here. And now what I'll do is I just go ahead and put this right over here. But pulling this down and pushing it in at the same time. Okay, so this is done, but it still needs to be adjusted a little bit. that screw back in I use the other side of the Allen key this time put it in from this hole right over here and 
then over there, right there. It was easier to do than using this angle head. Okay, next stop, make sure everything is sitting properly on the grooves. Right here, the springs, the screw, and then these grooves over here should be sitting properly right there and then the top one right there but the last last thing we're gonna do is install the spring we're gonna put this back right down from there the hole right down there should go from that hole Right there. Okay. Right there. And then this should go right over here. I'm going to use my long nose pliers. 